Rockstar Games has just announced that they're releasing GTA Plus, which is a new subscription service for GTA Online, which they say will be providing, quote unquote, easy access to a range of valuable benefits for both new and long standing players like GTA Online money, which is 500,000 a month, double cash and RP modes. So you'll get access to these double cash and double RP modes if you have their subscription service, $5.99 a month. Rockstar is basically making GTA Online pay to win. GTA Online has been out for like a good 10 years and you'd be surprised. It's still one of the most downloaded games every year. There's a lot of new GTA Online players. And now if you pay this subscription service, you're gonna have access where the normal people who just pay for the game don't have, where you can level up fast, Master. all their best weapons are locked in the game until like at least level 100 i think that's when you unlock like all the rpg stuff this is a new commentary channel where i'll be keeping you up to date on all internet news and real world events if you're interested in that make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to receive new video notifications now this is a new low for rockstar this money pile they're making from gt online is burying their reputation as long as they keep putting out good games, which is the one silver lining, regardless of how greedy Rockstar Games is getting because they're becoming more and more greedy over the years. They still continue to put out really good games, even if the online modes aren't very good. But even if they keep putting out games, people will never feel the same about this company because every time they try to grip and grime every single cent from their player base, people notice they're not as dumb as Rockstar thinks they are. They've released GTA three or four times every time there's a new next gen upgrade they'll release it for some ridiculous price i mean everyone hated on cyberpunk 2077 because it came i mean to be fair it did come out un it came out unfinished and unpolished and it was a buggy mess but you know what even cyberpunk is giving free upgrades to next gen rockstar games in cd project red are nowhere near making the same amount of money rockstar games is worth tenfold as much and rockstar games won't give free upgrades where cd project will don't forget they released gta the trilogy which released unfinished and unpolished and it was a buggy mess they knew it came out before it was ready they could have used like another year of development and they still released it and you know what i remember people still defending that game because the bugs and glitches reminding them of the old games yes that's correct they were fine with the glitches because it reminded them of the games that came out 20 years ago which is crazy the simple reason rockstar is releasing broken games and they're making gta online subscriptions is simply because they can and the fans will defend them even if it's not in their best interest i mean i think 5.99 for the gta online subscription is a decent price but i mean the only reason you'd need to buy that subscription really is that 500,000 you get every month and that's because they artificially inflate everything i mean uh, most of the cars that release now everything new is is millions and millions of dollars nothing you can get from just playing the game yes you can play the game to just get it but it's 10 times easier just buy a shark car to breathe buy their subscription service it's very disappointing to see rockstar go down this route because the greed is taking over from them i love rockstar gta 5 and red dead redemption 2 are two of my favorite games ever and it really hurts to see rockstar stoop to a new ea level of greed i mean do you even still play gta online i know it's still really successful especially because it just got the boost from gta roleplay which is a big thing on the internet right now but honestly i stopped playing years ago because i I've just been waiting for GTA 6. And that's another thing. GTA 6 will easily be the most sold game whenever it comes out. I believe, I, I, I've heard rumors 2024, 2025, but you know damn well it's going to be the best sold game for years after its release. And so the greed really doesn't make sense for me. Obviously, it costs a lot of money for them to make this new GTA. You know, it's going to cost a lot of money, but it's going to be the best selling game probably in Rockstar history so it, it really baffles me that they're that they're being super greedy just a couple years before the next GTA. I want to know in the comments will you be buying this subscription service? What do you think about it? And I'll see you in the next one.